You got my body, now you want my soul. Don't even think about it, just say no, go. Yeah. <laughs> What up, y'all? Welcome back. This is another episode of the Play It Loud podcast. I'm your host, Jay Solo. This week's episode, we got a song from a legendary two-man group, one of the best to ever do it, Daryl Hall and John Oaks. Hall and Oaks. Before we get into it, please do me a favor. If you haven't already, please go follow us on our socials at the Play It Loud podcast, Facebook, Instagram, on YouTube, we with the Now You Talking Network. Just search Play It Loud Podcast, and we ready to go. Let's get it. All right, so let me get into the song. It was a number one single, certified gold, 100 greatest songs of the 80s, and it's off the 10th studio album of Hall & Oates, Private Eyes, released in 1981. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about one of the greatest songs ever. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. This this song be jamming so hard, I can't believe it was released as their second single. I would have came out. If I was in the studio around this time, I wasn't even born yet. But if I was in the studio with them, I'd be like, listen, we got to release this one first. All the other ones straight, but this is the one. And the thing for me that take this song over the top, besides the beat jamming, they got some real, uh, what they saying, some substance, some real stuff you can relate to. When they say that, I can't go for that. Whoever came up with put that no can do in there, need some kind of award. Individually. Some kind of Grammy. Some kind of, like, an all-time... Just, just give them some kind of accolade. They should just have like a street or something named after this person. No Can Do Avenue or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if it was Daryl or, or John. Whoever put that No Can Do, they need a street called No Can Do Avenue. And at the bottom, put whoever wrote that lyric or said put this in the song. Because that boy, that just take the song to a whole nother level, dog. That make that make he put a stamp on it. That mean he meant that shit. All right, so let's get into the samples and uh, who got influenced by this song. Song been sampled by De La Soul and uh, MF Doom, Two Chains. But uh, I didn't notice this. But now that I I read up on it, did my research, I'm giving you some game. If you haven't known already, Michael Jackson used the same drum line for Billie Jean. Like, you hear it now. I can hear it in my head now, but when I, I listened to it earlier, that boom, ch, boom, ch, dun, man, listen, that Billie Jean, Mike was influenced by Hall & Oaks. I'm telling to tell y'all, I can't go for that. Got to be one of the greatest songs of all time, especially Tampa style. Movies and TV shows that it's been in. I'm surprised at this because it's only been in two. I thought it was in more. Maybe I just wanted to hear any more, but it was only in two. And this was the most recent. This was like a recent movie, um, the 2020 movie Coffee and Kareem. If you into uh, harsh language and just wild storylines, this movie here is so damn funny, though. <laughs> Coffee and Kareem funny as heck, man. Um, and it's also in the 1975 episode of Saturday Night Live, season seven, episode 13. I can't believe that, man. Like, this song be jamming so hard, it's only in one movie and one uh, episode of Saturday Night Live. I don't know. I guess people don't feel how I feel. I just feel like this is like a straight up classic, no matter the genre. Like, it's just, it's tough. All right, so I'm gonna give a breakdown what the song is about. Um, shout out to Lil Duval because he always put this on his Instagram and be jamming with the no can do. <laughs> shout out to Lil Duval. So the song is basically telling people they should think for themselves and do what they believe. They shouldn't act or do things just because others do 
or because the government say to do it or because their father or mother say that this is the right thing to do. I'm with them. They was on to something with this, man. It be, listen, though, I can't say enough about this song. It be jamming, but this is, it's exactly it. Like, people need to start going on what they believe, you know what I'm saying? People have to be able to assess each situation based on their own beliefs and not just follow along or what's going on. No can do. That's basically what this song about, man. They wrote the song basically because they was tired of, you know, the record label and everybody telling them what they need to do. They need to follow the trends and all that. And it was like, man, listen, I can go for the same old things that y'all tell us to sing. I can go for, you know, showing up here. But y'all can't, y'all can't control me and my creative side. I can't do it. I can't go for it. So let's get into the lines that stand out and the questions that go with them. But before I start, let me say this. To the artists, the producers, the engineers, the, the independent artists, can we please bring back letting the beat breathe in the beginning of the song? They didn't say not one word until 58 seconds of the song. And the song's still four minutes long. But can we get back into letting the beat breathe, either in the beginning or the end? Because Timberland was a king at that. Like, you're going to come on, you can spit your bars, but at the end, that's my time to shine. Like, let the producer, let the drummer get some. Let the drummer get some. James Brown used to say it all. Let the drummer get some. The funky drummer, man. Let the beat breathe. We don't wanna, we wanna hear you rap, but let the beat breathe, man. That's the music. All right, so here we go. Let's get into it. You got my body, now you want my soul. Don't even think about it, just say no, go. Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, y'all, but this all just be jamming, man. I can't help but sing it. Um, have you given someone your body, your time, and they always expected more from you? Yes. My former employment, my first, not my first job. I, I feel like it's my first official job because I was there for years at a time. Boy, that USPS, that Eagle wanted everything. Boy, they wanted every drop of time, energy, blood, sweat, tears, dog, cat, Car insurance. <laughs> Yo, man, I started that job when I was 19. And boy, like I used to be running, trying to get off so I can go catch up with everybody. And I did that for a couple of years. And like they wanted me to come in on my days off. They wanted me to go cover other people. They wanted me to go help other people. I tell them I got a doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment can be done after you get off. Man, y'all can't get my whole soul. Y'all can't get every ounce of what I got going on, man. Like, them jobs make you want to forget your dreams, though. Like, it was so much stuff. When I finally decided to leave, it was so much stuff I forgot I knew how to do growing up. That's what they do, man. They take your soul, though. They take your creativity. They want every ounce of you and your energy. Don't let them get you like that. Don't go for it. No can do. Let's get into the next line. I can go for being twice as nice. I can go for just repeating the same old lines. I... <laughs> Have you ever bent over backwards trying to be super nice to please someone? I haven't gone completely out of my way to please somebody. If I'm trying to impress somebody, I'm going to lay it out. But, like, I'm not going to just sell out being there, acting like a whole new person, trying to be over-the-top nice, twice as nice, just to please somebody and get them in my good graces. I'll lay it out for you if I'm presenting something to you. But, like, I'm not going to go through all that, man. That's that's just that's taking it too far, dog. I, some people say I could be tripping. Like, I, you're supposed to do whatever you can to close a deal. But, like, 
Nah, bro. Not if I'm finna be here, not acting like myself and comfortable. That's taking it too far, man. That's trying to be twice as nice, and we can't go for that. No can do. <laughs> Second part of that question, have you ever held back your personal opinion and just said whatever somebody wanted to hear just to keep on going through the day? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't, <laughs> ain't going to lie. I do. I did. I did this before, man. Um, sometimes you just got to say what you got to say to get a bitch out your face. <laughs> That just, yeah, I'd have, I'd have been a part of that game. Because sometimes you just, you can't say what you want to. You can, but sometimes it's just bad timing and it ain't going to come out right. So sometimes you just got to say what you got to say to keep people moving and keep people out your face. So I have, dog. I ain't even going to lie. I can't go for repeating the old same old lines. <laughs> All right, so... I think I'm a pretty open-minded person. I can deal with almost anything that you want me to. Yeah. But there's some things I just can't do and I won't go for no can do. But I don't want this whole episode to be entirely about me. And that's why I reached out to y'all to see what y'all can't go for. So here we go. I'm going to read off this list. And I'm going to give my input on each of these. Boy, y'all going to have me in the hot seat with this stuff, dog. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right. So here y'all go. Y'all, I can't go for that list. Some of y'all sent the text message. Some of y'all called. Some of y'all DM'd the Instagram page. Some of y'all inboxed. So let's get into it. First one, fresh off the press. And this is y'all list. This ain't me. I can't go for that. Deadbeat parents. Let's get into it. So, um, to me, I don't I don't understand how people can abandon their kids. You know, I haven't been through this personally, so you know, y'all might not say y'all might say my point is not valid because I haven't been through it, but like that kid that's here needs somebody to raise them. That kid need a male influence. That kid need a female influence. That 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 kid needs a upbringing. Like I say, I'm not in this situation. Y'all might say I I don't have no clue what I'm talking about, but just monetarily sending money is not enough for these kids. They need to see people. They need to be raised. They need influence from mother and father, whole family unit. You know, some people separate, stuff happens, I understand, but like that time need to be spent. Them them lessons need to be learned. You got to get them lessons. Can't just be monetarily, dog, because that just ain't gonna work. It just ain't gonna work. I'd have seen examples of it. People just sending money and say that should be enough. Like, nah, man, them kids need to see somebody in that household. They need to be picked up. They need examples. They need all that. Also, if the kid, if the kid do stay with you, just because they stay with you, you still can be dead. Because a kid can be back there in the room, and you doing whatever, and just leaving them there. That's still dead. Be even though they in the same residence. So let's tighten up, man. Let's get this dead beat stuff out of here, and let's raise these kids, man. Next thing on the I can't go for that list. No can do. People that are users. Shout out to the last episode. If you haven't seen the, um, the Use Me episode, that is like the first uh, structure of us doing this, of me doing this ep style episode, just breaking down one song. Go check that out based on Bill Withers' Use Me. Can't go for the users, man. Can't go for the users. Um, I ain't going to stay on this for too long because there's a whole episode of me talking about people that use the people who bring ice. We ain't going for that. We are not going for that. Next thing for the I can't go for that list. Excuse makers. God damn, dog. Y'all tough. <laughs> this is this is y'all list. This ain't me. <laughs> excuse makers. People that don't try. They got excuses for everything. 
uh, everything is stacked against them. They feel like the world is against them. Man, like, come on, dog. Everything ain't stacked against you. Sometimes you just, you need to just get up and move. Make something happen. Set appointments, set goals. Like, you can't just sit here and just keep making excuses for everything, dog. Like, the world don't owe you nothing. The world don't owe you nothing. Like, bro, I had to, I had to, um, shout out to my OG again, man. I'm going to try to get him on here. I know I keep shouting him out each episode, but I got to get him on here. Like, he he opened my eyes to a lot of stuff that I felt like uh, was other people's fault. I had to take a look in the mirror. I had to look right into the mirror and be like, what I could have did different. Then I started looking at life, and as I moved forward and stuff, like, Nah, bro, that's that's excuses I'm making. I could have did something different. I could have took a different path. I could have reached out. I could have did something to change the outcome of the situation. Like, man, you can't sit here and afford to keep making excuses not to do anything, dog. Like, come on, man. Let's get it together. Loud and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and wrong, people. <sighs> Yeah, the people that's loud and wrong, it just look ridiculous. This is a current example that I seen. Somebody Googled something and read just the surface level of the information that they Googled. And kept, Flex Keep Sweat, I got to call y'all on this, dog. Um, I know most of y'all, I know y'all seen Home Alone. The movie that he was watching, the gangster movie that he was watching, I'll, it might be breaking news to you, but it's not a real movie at all. It is something they made to go with Home Alone movie. My boy Flex Keith Sweat say, man, y'all know that's a real movie that Kevin was watching. I say, no. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not, though. I thought it was. I seen the uh, documentary about the breakdown of Home Alone and all that. And uh, it's not a real movie. It's something they made just for Home Alone itself. He was like, no, nah, I bet that's a real movie. So I said, all right, well, send me a screenshot of what you just seen. This boy sent me the screenshot. In the description, it reads, fictional gangster movie, which was made for Home Alone. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Angels, 50 Angels or something like that. It says fictional movie that was made for Home Alone. He's steady, loud, and wrong, telling me, oh, no, that movie real. That's the name of the movie right there. Look at the pictures and all that. I was like, no. <laughs> I say, dog, just please read. Like, people who try to use Google for excuses, please read the full caption before you sit here and try to confirm it's if, if it's a fact or not. Stop just reading the little lines and just be like, oh, that's the real deal. Like, come on, man, do your research fully because loud and wrong, you just look ridiculous and we can't go for that. No can do. <laughs> uh, what else y'all got on here, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all tough, boy. I can't go for that list. A significant other that cannot cook. Can't go for that at all. I'm not finna eat no uh, takeout food all the time. I'm not cooking all the time. We ain't doing the microwave dinners all the time. We got to get them pots rolling. Like, I need to see. You ain't got to be a, a gourmet chef or nothing like that, but I need some home-cooked food. I can't, no. That's a no-can do for me. Absolutely no out the window. We can split the cooking. You cook, I cook. But if you can't cook at all, it's not going to work, and I'm out the game anyhow. Shout out to Wiffy. She in that sleep. Well, as I record this podcast, <laughs> um, liars, BS liars, people that lie for no reason. Matter of fact, the people, um, this is the liars I don't like. The people who lie just to try to be in the conversation to make themselves look good, those people right there, those are the people you got to watch. Because, boy, they will sit here and make up a full story. They should, those should be the, the y'all need to be movie writers and script writers. Because, boy, the way y'all come up with lies so quick on the spot, it don't even make no sense, though. 
and we can't go for it. Go do something else. Go to Hollywood with it. End up on Skid Row. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list, micromanagement at your job. Boy, can't go for that. Definitely not. That's why I don't work for nobody now. I'm independent. I contract my work. Tell me the job. I'm going to knock it out. I don't need nobody calling me. I don't need nobody on my shoulder. I don't need nobody texting and all this, like, give me the job. This is the assignment. I'm going to do it. You ain't got to worry about it. If there's a problem, I will call you because I do not like being micromanaged a bit all on my shoulder. My shoulder's big, but God damn, dog. Like, I don't need you all on my neck micromanaging, talking about you got to do it like this. Can you do it like that? Can you move this? This is this and this. Listen, dog, if that's the case, you got all this time, you do the goddamn work. You do it. Damn, dog. Ain't nobody with this micromanaging, dog. No, sir. No can do. All right. Uh, what else y'all got? People who act like they owe something when they volunteer to help you out. Can't go for that. Can't go for that. Why do you volunteer to help me? And then when you're done helping and volunteering, keyword, volunteering, you act like you owe something. Be like, oh, man, well, shit, I didn't help y'all do such and such. Uh, you can't shoot your boy a couple of dollars? No. <laughs> you came over here. You volunteered to help. Now, you need a help or a favor or something like that? Call me, and then I'll come return that favor or volunteer for you. And you ain't getting nothing monetarily. You ain't getting nothing in exchange for you volunteering. That's why it's called volunteering. Like, them people there, yeah, can't go for that. Y'all got to go. Uh, next on this. These good, man. Y'all crazy. Um, this one right here, this 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 is a must. This is a must. 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 Not hearing Silent Night by the Temptations during the Christmas holiday. This is a must. If I don't hear that song... R.P. to my grandma Rose. If I don't hear that song during the holidays, starting Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, it need to start being in somebody rotation wherever I'm at. Dog, they, that right there, dog. <laughs> Matter of fact, I might do the episode next on that. You got to play that. That's a no can do. That, that, you can't have that, man. We got to play Temptation Silent Night. It was in my mind. Ooh, I want you to be free. Ooh, I'm singing tonight, man. It is what it is. Uh, what else y'all got? People who take it too far, rooting against kids in sports. Definitely got to get them up out of here. We got to take those people up, up off of here. As a coach, I see this all the time. I understand you want your kids to compete. You want them to beat the other team. You want them to dominate the other team. You want them to run the score up. All that is fine. But when you're on the sideline and you talking about the kid, you talking about his shoes, if he ain't got the best shoes, you calling the kid names, you start getting disrespectful and all that, parents going back and forth, leads then got shut down, like – Bro, these, these are kids. They are young student athletes. They just trying to play a game that they love or they trying to get better at. They are not professionals. They are not getting paid to do this or participate. They just want somebody. They just want their chance to play, get better, have somebody cheer for them. The disrespect just get too far, man. It get out of hand. I see it all the day, especially with basketball because the gym is so big and the kids don't have on the helmet. Like when you on the sideline, you talking junk to these kids, they can turn and look right at you. Like they see you. Come on, man. Let's do a better job of that. Y'all got to go. We can't go for that. No can do. 
I think this is the last one. This is the last one, y'all. So people who act like they got more than what they actually have, these people are delusional. These people, that's part of the people that lie. Like these are the people who will sit here and let's just say I just got a, I just bought my favorite car, 96, one of my favorite cars, 96 Impala. And, you know, I'm happy. I'm telling people I know. Like, hey, man, I just got my car, finally fi finally got me another one. Here go you coming out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, man, I had one of them. Yeah, man, but I, I had to let it go, man. I had to get something better. I had to go ahead and get an SS Camaro, this, this, and this. Because now <laughs> you downplaying my car by saying you're getting something better, and now you're saying you got the SS Camaro. When you don't even have... You probably didn't have my car, the car you talking about, none of that. You just lying, just trying to outshine somebody for nothing. Just congratulate people. Move on about your business. Just say that, hey, man, that boy clean, dog. I'm glad you finally got your car, one of your favorite cars. Like, don't try to downplay it and then try to stun on me with something that you don't even have. Come on, man. We can't go for that. All right, y'all. So I appreciate it. Y'all sent me things that y'all can't go for, that you cannot do. I appreciate it. It helps the episode. We go back and forth. We get to have a conversation. I get to give my experience on it. Hopefully, it'll help y'all out so y'all can identify some of these things, man, because people are a trip out here, man. But, hey, that's the end of the episode. That is the Play It Loud song of the day. Hall and Oaks, I can't go for that. No can do. Again, it's your boy Jay Solo. Please submit songs that you want me to review, songs we can have conversations about. Please have some substance in it so we can have great conversations. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you share, download, tell a friend to tell a friend to play it loud. I'm out.